Hello, you're welcome to our broadcast today. You're watching Family Aspects. And today I want to be talking about a topic that is very important. And it's called the naked marriage. Yes, you heard me right. Wow, the naked marriage. You see, one of the greatest challenge that marriages face around the world today is the lack of understanding of the power of naked marriage. Many marriages today are living in extreme secrecy. They are functioning in extreme secrecy and thereby polluting their relationship without even knowing. I've come to see a number of marriages that have been that have gone through divorce or separated based on certain uh, discoveries these separations and divorces are based on certain discoveries that the husband or wife had kept from them for a long time but today i want to help as many people who may have been going through that situation that they have so much secrecy in their relationship and i want to be helping you to understand the power of naked marriage why you need to come open in your marriage now there's a test in the bible i would like to read to you is in genesis chapter number two from verse 18 to 20 25 and i wanted to bear with me as i read this test uh, the verse of the Bible because it is the uh, the, um, the 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 best description of what open naked marriage really means and um, Let me read to you now is in Genesis chapter number 2 Verse 18 Then the Lord God said it is not good for the man to be alone I will make a helper who is just right for him so the lord god formed from the ground all the wild animals and all the birds of the sky he brought them to the man to see what he would call them and the man chose a name for each one verse 20 he gave names to all the livestock all the birds of the sky and all the wild animals but still there was no helper just right for him verse 21 so the Lord God cursed the man to fall into a deep sleep why the man slept the Lord God took out one of the man's rib and closed up the openings verse 22 then the Lord God made a woman from the reap and he brought her to the man. Verse 23, Alas, the man exclaimed, This is this one is bone of from my bone and flesh from my flesh. She will be called woman because she was taken from man. Verse 25, 24. This explains why. This explain why a man leave his father and mother and join to his wife and two are united into one. Two are united into one. Now in verse 24 to verse 25, I want you to read verse 25. Now the man and his wife were both naked, but they felt no shame. Wow, powerful words, powerful words. One of the first lessons you must learn in your marriage is the power of a naked marriage. The power of a naked marriage. You probably may be thinking, well, we are just talking about sex right now. No, but that's, that's not, that, there's a lot to learn more than that in a relationship. The, the sexual aspect of your marriage should be to be a huge priority but remember that true intimacy requires more than just what happens in the bedroom it requires what more than what just happened in the bedroom 
You see, what we just read in the book of Genesis, we are giving the account of the first marriage God created. The first couple. God created a couple, you know, and this couple, they, they were temporarily living in an ideal world, what we call an ideal setting. In that place, there was no debt. They were not owing anybody, no crazy in-laws, you know what I mean? No baggages, no streets, no stress, no fighting, you see. And one last thing, there was no clothing in that place in the garden. Now, in verse 25, you read the Bible says, the, Now the man and his wife were both naked, but they felt no shame. You see, they were both naked, but they felt no shame. How could they be both naked and felt no shame? Because when God painted the picture of a naked marriage in that verse, we believe that he was revealing to us something more than just sexual intimacy. He was revealing to us the importance of having complete transparency, vulnerability, and acceptance, inclusive intimacy at every level of relationship. So what God revealed to us in that picture was the complete transparency the importance of having complete transparency openness honesty in your marriage vulnerability acceptance and intimacy at every level of your relationship and this is so important to understand now i am not advocating that we all go around nude all day no I'm not going I'm not saying that we all go around naked all the time no although I think um, most marriage will be will benefit really from the naked time for from more naked times with each other that means if a partner get to have a naked time with the, with the, with the spouse wonderful they will benefit from it but I am suggesting something here that we all need to become more intentional about reconnecting with that true intimacy that Adam and Eve um, got, at the got in the Garden of Eden at that state in their lives. They tasted what we call true intimacy. They, they were the one that initiated those true experience of intimacy. Now, there's something I want you to understand. The naked marriage is that of intentional complete transparency. I want you to understand this. It is that of complete intentional transparency. It is intentional and it's complete transparency, openness, openness, honesty. Many marriages does, does not practice honesty. Many relationships are suffering from transparency and that is the greatest problem that they find that actually attack marriages today. It is the greatest challenge that marriages face, face today. Many marriages doesn't, they don't practice complete acceptance and not to talk of intimacy. And the problem is we try to prioritize intimacy more than transparency. And by the time we discover some secret things and hidden facts about our spouses, it destroys our intimacy. But what would have kept our intimacy intact is the ability to use the power of transparency and use it effectively in your marriage. So I encourage you today that one of the things you should do in your marriage to make your marriage work especially those of you who may have been going through challenges in your marriage you may have been going through tough times in your marriage right now this is not a time to run away this is the time to embrace complete transparency if you have not been honest with your spouse if you have not been honest all these years it is time to sit down and reconnect 
and walk with honesty. Become vulnerable to your husband, to your wife. That's the best way to go. Practice acceptance. Practice intimacy. When your husband, when your wife do something that offends you, how often do you accept their wrong, accept their, accept their person and forgive their wrong? You see, you need to learn to practice acceptance. I wish I have time to talk about this in detail. But time will not permit me to talk more about acceptance and vulnerability. But here is a point. Practice openness. Practice transparency. How come did your husband didn't know that you built a second house in your village as a wife? How come did your wife didn't know that you bought a new apartment or a property in a certain town or city? How come your, husband, your wife didn't know that you had another child with another woman some times ago before you got married? How come that your wife didn't know or your husband didn't know that you, have children, you had a child or, or, or children for another man or you were once married before you got married to him? How come your husband didn't know? How come your wife didn't know? Where is this secrecy coming from? In marriage today, marriage we see today a lot of them are suffering transparency there is so much use lack of transparency so when God said that both of them were naked and they felt no shame like I said he was actually painting a picture to us of intentional complete transparency vulnerability acceptance and intimacy at every level of your relationship now when you begin to practice these things i'm talking about which i encourage you to do it will change your life it will change your marriage it will impact your children's life it will make a huge difference in your relationship with your spouse whether you're a man you're a woman you're obliged you have the obligation to have a complete, to be intentional in your transparency. You see, you have to be completely involved in openness, honesty. Let me tell you something. Love by its nature is honest. We need to understand that, that love by its nature is honest. And it is especially important to a sacred bond of trust in marriage. If, you're, if you are married, your marriage is sacred and is a bond of trust. And to keep that marriage alive and striving, you must engage in love. I'm talking about the nature of love, which is honesty, transparency, vulnerability, and acceptance, intimacy. These are necessary to a, a successful improving your marriage and making your spouse more happier than he has ever met you that he met that the first time he met you when when before you got married in other words you just have your husband keep chasing you you just have your wife keep thinking about you because this practice is the best to make two united as one you have to be you have to think that you both are one you are not different you're united you are not made one so one thought one idea one vision one dream possibly live the life of oneness okay when you are not living a naked marriage there's something that you need to understand that will happen God intended us to practice naked marriage that's why he initiated it he instituted it and he gave us an idea of it by using Adam and Eve as a sample for us. Now, if you are not practicing that, you are opening up yourself to dangerous temptations and, and, and trials. And that's why we have these things in marriage. We have problems in marriage. Men are tempted to do things that they are not supposed to do. Women are tempted to do things they are not supposed to do in marriage because there is no openness, no transparency. You see, when a man is not happy with the intimate level of the wife or is not satisfied with the intimate level of the wife, he is not transparent enough to discuss it with the wife. You are supposed to practice transparency to help your partner 
or your spouse improve and develop remember we are all practicing adaptation we are adjusting and adopting to each other so we have to know that every time we 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 are we we we, we come up and open it uh, open it, explain certain things to our spouse we are helping them uh, to improve their area of limitations so this is so important this is so important so uh, i've seen that those uh, the lack of a uh, naked uh, the lack of naked marriage or the lack of practice of naked marriage has actually brought a lot of temptation and 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 tribulation and problems to to many marriages that have led a lot of people to go down the dark paths in their relationship many many men have gone down to dark paths of their relationship many women has gone down to the dark paths of their relationship and i pray that god will give you insight and understanding about what this naked marriage means um read those verses that i mentioned to you and i want you to know that when you do that you are practicing you are engaging yourself with the doctrines and principles of marriage that god has put in place now if you have not subscribed to this channel i encourage you to hit the subscribe button and also click on the uh, bell notification uh, so that when any of our videos come up you'll be one of the first or among the first to receive uh, our video uploaded now i want you to also share this video if you like the video you you were blessed share it and like it and comment if you have any question any challenges you want us to uh, share together don't hesitate uh, to put your comments or, or questions on the comment section i'll be looking into it and then get get it back to you and responding to your comments thank you very much for listening again subscribe to the channel and you have more of this video coming your way thank you very much and have a beautiful day